That's huge going into the Pompey game on Saturday. And I, like I said, I've called it. I'm going to say Portsmouth 2, Plymouth 4 on Saturday. And we saw, I saw the access again. They were 2 0 up. They lost 3 2. What's happening everybody? Welcome to the new vlog tonight. In fact, today as I should say, it is Portsmouth versus Plymouth Argyle, mighty Plymouth Argyle at Fratton Park, three o'clock kickoff. I'm currently in Southampton um, at the moment and this is where I've started the vlog. Uh, Cause I, uh, well, yesterday, I, um, Friday as I should say, I traveled up from Plymouth to change at Exeter, change at Yeovil, change at Dorchester to eventually get to Southampton, stay at my mate's house. This is, uh, I'd say, our first proper big test of the season, actually, because if you think about it, when we played Derby, Bolton, Peterborough, all those examples for etc., we didn't know what position we were going to be in. Charlton, when we lost 5-1, we didn't know what position we were going to be in. And now that it's clear that us, Pompey, Ipswich and Sheffield Wednesday are the top four going into this weekend. We know this weekend matters, especially that Ipswich are away to Sheffield Wednesday today at Hillsborough as well. So it's going to be an exciting one. I really hope we batter them. I really hope we, we, we beat them today. So this is going to be a huge game for us today. And it's going to be a really tough one as well because I know Pompey are going to be up for this as well. Them second in the league, they haven't lost a game yet. But we'll be there. Hopefully we'll be there. We're just behind third in the league. We can go second if we win and Ipswich lose. It's going to be a big one. It's going to be a big test today. And plus we've got Ipswich next week at home park. So this is going to be a huge fixture. Okay, guys, so we have arrived at, my, at good old Fratton Park. I've got Louise with me. What's the score going to be, Louise? Argyle fad here. What's the score going to be? Hopefully 2-1. Two, two, hopefully 2-1. Two, 2-1. One. Two, one. Hopefully. Argyle. Hopefully. Definitely 2-1. Last season, it was in the bag. It was, yeah, it, it was. And then it just slipped season. right at the end, didn't it? Slipped, so, yeah. uh, 2-1. Do you think, um, the other question was, do you think Hardy's going to start today? After, even though he was so poor against Oxford on Tuesday it, night. It's tough to tell, tough to tell, tough to tell. We'll find out soon, but I mean, he provides a lot. Up oh, yeah. No, definitely. So whatever choice Shuri goes with, oh will yeah. the right one. Oh, no, without a shadow of a doubt. But I just think, I personally think Cooper needs to have the performance of his life today. If he's against Marlon Pack, Ronan Curtis, Scarlett and... Um, uh, um, same performance as Chelsea. Colby Bishop, yeah. Colby same, Bishop, same yeah. Same performance, performance against Chelsea. Chelsea. And you know what's funny? My dad's a Chelsea fan, so they're my favourite Premier League team. So I was going to go to that match regardless anyway. Yeah, you're going 2-1 Argyle. 2-1 Argyle. All right, Argyle. then. Hopefully. Uh, Crossgrove, absolutely. Well, just like against Derby, same again. I don't remember his I don't remember his second goal. I don't remember it. Oh, he was... I, I just remember celebrating. Oh, it was phenomenal, mate. It was absolutely <laughs> phenomenal. It's why you get. It's why um, I wanted to really give him man of the match just because of those two goals alone. Won us a bloody game. It's going. To be, it's a big test. This is because Ipswich have Wednesday today, and we've got Ipswich next week at home. I got a win. It's a so big statement. Big statement. we 
This is huge. This is easily our biggest day of League One so far this season. So far until next Sunday. Until next Sunday, yeah. Until next Sunday. But it's big for all three because Ipswich and Pompey have each other after we have Ipswich. Yeah. And then we have and we have bloody Wickham, we do. I don't know whether I want to go to that game. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I couldn't blame you for that. I won last season. Yeah. Oh. Well, no, fair what enough. What were we thinking? But I don't, I don't know. It'll be a, it's a really tricky one. I think it could easily go either way. But yeah. as long as we... It, because we're away, as long as we get a point, I'm happy. Because hopefully we can get the get the home leg, the home leg return, and we get the three points. If it's half time now, now I got wins again. And also, if 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 we draw today, it's one point loss for us, two point loss for them, because it's Pompey's ground. So, but obviously, I'd rather go for the win at the end of the day, like all of us would. So yeah, it's Pompey versus Argyle. What's the score going to be, fellas? We'll start with you, with the um from our opposition. I want to say 2-1 Pompey, but I'll take a draw. It's, it's a difficult game here, so I'll take a draw, but 2-1. You'll take, a, you'll take a draw. Who do you think will go on the score seat for, for us if we do score? Hardy. You think Hardy? Easy. After our, his awful performance against Oxford? No matter what, he always managed to score against us. Yeah, no, that's very true. Here, so. Yeah, and it makes sense. Is there anyone um, in your team that we need to look out for today? Dane Scarlett. Dane Scarlett. Yeah. I was saying to a few Argyle fans on the train just now that I, I that Cooper will need to have the performance of his life against Bishop, Scarlett, Curtis and, and Marlon Pack. I wouldn't worry about Curtis. Yeah, I'd fair enough. If Karoma comes on the pitch, then him and the link up between him and Scarlett is probably one you've got to watch out for. Yeah. So, yeah, I'd say Dane Scarlett and Colby Bishop are the biggest threat we've got at the moment. Fair enough. Is there anyone you're worried from our side that could be a threat to you today? Not really. I mean... It's been a bumpy start to the season for you, hasn't it? So it's been a good start. We just—it's just those two defeats are the exceptions, you know really. I say that, but we've, we've unbeaten. That's probably why I'm saying that. So, <laughs> do you, are you happier already with this season than the start of last season? This time last season, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I, I can't can't blame you for that at all. A little change of heart. I don't think it'll be as comfortable as a three 0 I'd go. I'd be happy with, with a win. Like a two-one, or even like yeah. a draw, just to take points off. You could always, you could always go for my amazing four-two Argyle prediction yeah, if you yeah, want. Yeah. So, <laughs> as long as we get at least a point or, or three points today, would be would be a successful trip for Argyle. Hopefully, I'd like I'd like to see Ennis if he, if he can come on. He deserves a goal. He's been playing well recently. Hardy, of course, like uh, Callum said, he loves a goal at, at Fratton Park. So, yeah, I'd say I'd say maybe Ennis, maybe maybe Hardy. Possibly as as if he plays as Callum said, Dane Scarlett, obviously Spurs Spurs uh, striker. It's gonna be it's gonna be hard to keep him contained. But if we can do it, it, it we've done it against teams Chelsea, we kept Romney Lukaku quiet, so we can do it to Dane Scarlett Scarlet. One new Argyle. One new Argyle, who's gonna score for us? Uh, as as I think Dane Scarlett's a yeah. Tottenham fan as well, so obviously uh, yeah, you know they have already he got off to a really really good start at the moment with Pompey, so yeah, he's most already one to watch, but hopefully uh, the defenders can keep him quiet. So we have made it, we have made it to Fratton Park, and there is our amazing green badge in the distance there. Look at that! This is going to be very interesting. Come on, you pilgrims. I'm joined by young Nolan here, a big Pompey fan. Uh, what's the score going to be today, Nolan? 3-1 or 3-2 Pompey. Dane Scarlett will get two. He's really well. He's been one to watch yeah, today, hasn't he? He's been phenomenal, hasn't and he? And Ronan Curtis is going to get one. Is there, anyone, is there anyone in that Pompey squad in general, like whether it's a tackle, defence or goalkeeper, that you think Argyle really need to watch out for today? I think it'll be it'll be hard for us as and um, and Hardy today. Yeah, I agree. Them, for them three will probably be the one season about the last day. Cooper had a brilliant season last season. Oh no, mate, he's our, he's my favourite player right now, and he's uh, he's our um, he was my player. He's for me, he's the best goal in League One last season. So gutted we missed the playoffs. So I'm joined by Tom from Four 0 written all over it. What's the score going to be today, Tom? Four 0 written. 
play, but you've fair, play, it. fair play, fair play, fair <laughs> play. You got it. You got about the boys at the end I, of the day. I would so. say a two-one Pompey would be my my realistic ambition. Yeah, we, we got to respect the threat and the quality of the yeah. game, of course. But I think that's, that's fair enough. Fair that's fair enough. Is there anyone for our goal you um you you're worried about coming into today's match? I would have said Phoenix and Kamara, but we got rid of him in the I summer. I can't believe so. that. I, I'm glad we signed Butcher to replace him, just in case, to be honest. But I I will admit I'm gutted he's gone to Ipswich. So. But is there anyone else? Anyone else? Ryan Hardy always causes some problems at Frank Park. That is he's true. That is in. true. I think he might have scored a couple last time we played you. He might have scored them last time here or at home park. So yeah, definitely yeah. Ryan Hardy for me. Maybe. That sounds good. That sounds yeah, fair enough. Um, no, is there anyone uh, anyone we need to look out for today? The whole Go. eleven, man. <laughs> Every single one of them. <laughs> Deadly. Smart. Scarlet will score. Scarlet. Right now, I feel up numbers, but yeah, I was expecting that. That's football for you. I'm gonna say four nil Pompey. Four nil Pompey, just like Tom from four nil Rupert Lower. What are you gonna say? Two one Pompey. Two one Pompey. Two nil Pompey. Three one 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 Pompey. Come on! Green Army! Come on, lads! Come on, lads! I'm going to! I'm going to! I'm going to! You're in for the Argo! You're in for the Argo! What's the score going to be today, guys? Kick off Come on, boys! Come on! Come on, boys! I'm surprised Randall's been dropped up the line to the bench. Our goal a massive, everywhere we go. Our goal a massive, everywhere we go. Everywhere we go. Go on, lads. Corner. Corner. Go on, Whistler. Our goal. Thank you. 
Yes. Go on. Shoot. Yeah. Oh, that's a good save. Half time, Pompey one, I'll go no, what's it for the top? Um yeah, it's a bit disappointed, obviously. That like goal disallowed which which shouldn't really, you know, they they oh, nothing to, to have against it to yeah. be disallowed, but we need to move on in the second half and we need to get a goal. Yeah, no, I completely agree. Is there's like the one thing to like stay keep us in the game and stuff. Um bring bring Randall on the second half or something? I'd like to see or, Ennis on. Or Ennis, yeah. Ennis, Cosgrove. Randall maybe late on. Um, but yeah, we just need to do something. We need to do something. No, fast. I agree. Yeah, especially if we want to do a repeat of what we did at Derby. So 100%. definitely. Hey, Danny Cowley's been booked. Well done, Scar. Well done. Scarlet's off for Pompey, as is goal scorer Karoma. Vernon Curtis is on. We're about 70 minutes into this game. Still 1 0. Go on, Longwick. Forward. Right. Go on, Whitaker. Go on, have a go. Have a go. Oh. It's one all at Fratton Park. Sean Raggett is a legend for doing that own goal. Come on, Argyle! Unbelievably amazing. Come on. Yes, Lumwick. Yes, Lord Valley.
Hang on, what's happening? Hell up at the end. Well done, Cooper. We love you. Look at the difference between us and Pompey in a two all draw. And look at us, look at us, amazing fans. Oh, we were close. We were so close today, so close. Full time, Portsmouth 2, Plymouth 2. That ending was an absolute joke. That's all I can say, really. Up the green. We will win the league if we play like that. We will beat Ipswich next week. If we play like that for the rest of the season. We're going up 100% if we play like that for the rest of the season. I can't believe that ended. I'm gutted. Really thought we were going to win. I'm absolutely gutted with that ending, but oh well. Guess that's football. A repeat, basically. That, that game was an exact repeat of last season. Portsmouth get the equaliser right at the end, like they always do. Ah, uh, We'll beat them no problem at home park if we play like that. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. We were so close. So, so close to three points of Fratton Park. Ah, oh, mate, I'm gutted. I'm actually gutted. But... Roll on Ipswich next week. We could, we could easily get three points next week if we play like that again. I, I'm gutted, I'm gutted, I'm gutted. Oh, well. So, tale of two halves, really. They bottled a 1-0 lead. We bottled a 2-1 lead. So, that, guess, that basically sums it all up. Oh, man. I'll tell you what, I got really eat at the end as well. So, no wonder I nearly got a migraine. But... To be honest, we should be the happier side because that was meant to be a tough game regardless anyway. And we got, we got the points at Fratton Park. So that is better than getting no points at all. At home park though, we have to win at all costs when we play them second half of the season. But that, that performance again, just like the Derby game, showed that we're not going to back down. We are in this for the kill for this season. Last season, we proved it. We unluckily missed out. Painful at the end against MK Dons. And we're proving it again this season. Everyone, Like I said in my predictions, everyone wrote us off. Everyone knew we'd be there. 
Yeah. Maybe that Charlton result was an exception, but you're going to get that in League One anyway. Um, so really, other than I, I, don't, I don't know. We've we, we got a big game against Ipswich next week at home, <sighs> but. I'll well take played, it. mate. Well fair played. enough, fair enough. Fair enough. I'll tell you know what. Um, Mal, what's your thoughts on the game? What's your name, by the way? Barry. I'm Barry, Barry, Jack. Hello, Jack. Hello, mate. It got well, a bit heated at the end, didn't it? Got it? A bit, it got a bit animated. And uh, saw two, Galloway two. got sent off. In the last year, what was it? Second book of all, wasn't it? Oh, uh, yeah, something like oh. that. I, I was just gutted with that ending, I will be honest. I was really <laughs> gutted. Anybody would be. But you'll, you'll be there about It basically this. a repeat of last season, but yeah. as long as we beat Ipswich next week, then we're yeah, all right. right. Take care, mate. But God no, bless. yeah, no, honestly, no, come here. No, take care, Barry. Have a good one. Yeah. Enjoy the rest of the oh, yeah. season. Yeah. Who, have you got, who have you got next week? Well, it's been Bolton, I think it's been cancelled because of. So the... then you got Ipswich next anyway, so yeah. 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 First of October. You'll so. give them a game at Portman Road, I'm I reckon. Sure, yeah. So yeah. Shows that game alone, though. I'm gutted we didn't win 2 1, but it shows alone that we're going to be there this season. You and are. you are as well. You are as well. So, I guess that sums it up. Anyway, and I'll, I'll leave you to I'll it. I'll see you in February. Yeah, that's Feb. home park repeat. We that's need it. to win that if we want to bounce back. But you know what? I'll take a point anyway because it's so one point lost for so us, two points dropped for you. If that happens again at home park, it'll be the complete other way round. So, yeah. So, yeah, that sums up the game pretty much for you guys. Yeah. Take care, Jack. All the best. Uh, thank you, mate. Can't believe it. To be fair, like I said, it's worse for them than it is for us. So I will take that. So I returned to the best city in the world and oh my God, who the hell? Let me zoom this in. Let me zoom this in. Who in the name of God has done that on the Y? Can't wait to see at Halloween, because we know we'll turn up. But uh, oh, whoever did that, that's disgraceful. Not here, guys. I'm sorry.